So this is pre-calc, and we're just going to talk real quick about finding the derivative. In class, we've talked about where this um, definition of the limit comes from, or this definition of the derivative, or the instantaneous rate of change, where this comes from. <clears throat> so notice if we have some function, f of x, um, it's going to, you know, maybe have some curve in it. And as we graph things on this, we know that x is the input, and f of x is the output. So this is the x, this is the y. And uh, when we're finding the derivative, what we're looking for is the instantaneous rate change. We're looking at how fast, how steep this is at this point. And what we do is notice that if these are y's, this is the change in y. And these are x's, this is the change in x. C is uh, the point where we're at. So this is actually the point C, f of C. And what we're doing is we're picking this point x, f of x, and that would be an approximation of the slope. But the limit as x approaches c, we slide this closer and closer to that, so we get these lines that are closer and closer to this line. And then if we find the limit as x is c, then we'll know how steep it is at that point. Again, we've talked uh, a bit in class about that. So uh, let's just be mechanical about it and think about how we can find it. I'm going to use an eraser here because that'll be faster. So we're given this. Uh, find the instant, instantaneous rate of change of this function when x is 2. And then we're supposed to write the tangent line for it, an equation for the tangent line. So let's take what we know. We know that um, we know that the this derivative is going to be the limit as x approaches 2 of the function itself, x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 9, minus f of 2, the y value, and then x minus 2. So notice that like this is the general uh, a general point y over x. This is a specific point y over x where x is 2. And we're letting x get really, really close to 2. So we're finding that slope. So I need to find f of 2. Uh, I'm going to need that value. And uh, I like to use my, my calculator for this. And I actually, um, I actually like to do it this way. Um, I'm going to put 2 in x. And then I'm going to write x cubed. And in this case, it doesn't necessarily change, uh, save me many keystrokes. But if, uh, you know, if x was like negative 17 or something that, like that, it, it change, saves me a lot. Plus 9. So we'll notice what I did, let x equals two, equal 2, and then I just wrote um, my function, x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 9. And 7. So f of 2 is 7. All right, so if f of 2 is 7, that means what I have is the limit as x approaches 2 of x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 9 minus 7 over x minus 2. And this 9 minus 7, I can actually do. 9 minus 7 is 2. So I have x cubed minus 4x squared. Uh, that's a 3x plus 3x. You probably noticed that. Didn't say anything politely. Plus 2 over uh, x minus 2. And we're still finding the limit of this thing. So we're the limit as x approaches 2. So now I have this thing. I can do this division. This is not divided by that. So I'll use some synthetic division. 2 goes into this. 1, negative 4, 3, and 2. And the reason why... I'm doing that is if I try to evaluate, evaluate the limit right away just by plugging in 2, I'm dividing by 0. Can't do it. So let me do this division, see what happens. 1, 2, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, 2, 0. Lovely. So this divides down to x squared minus 2x minus 1. So if I do this division, again, I'm still taking the limit. But if I do this division, this is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. 
So that means I can plug the 2 in. 2 squared minus 2 times 2 minus 1, or minus 4 minus 1 is negative 1. So this function is that steep at the point 2, 7. So this is the instantaneous rate of change. Here's my derivative. So now what I'm going to do is write my tangent line. And my tangent line, I can just use that, I can use that point slope formula. Y minus the Y part of the point equals the slope times X minus the X part of the point. So I know the slope. The slope's the derivative. So that's a negative 1. Um, X minus the X part of the point, that's 2. And Y minus the Y part of the point, that's 7. There it is. All right, I hope that was helpful.